Hi, I'm Dave, and I want to talk about this new ladder I designed and built and tell you why I did it. So this is the ladder I used to use inside to go to the attic um, opening. And the problem is it was in the garage. I always had to go get it, and it's kind of ugly. And it's, um, I'd like to keep it indoors where it's handy behind a door. The problem is this ladder, which is a pretty standard six-foot ladder, is too wide. So when you fold it up, it's a little over, it's about eight inches wide, so it won't fit behind a door. So I noticed that the reason it's so wide is these pivot points are separated here. So I designed a ladder upon putting the pit, one pivot point, which allows it to be only about less than three inches. So that fits conveniently right behind the interior door. So I just built it straightforwardly out of wood, which I'm more comfortable working with. I followed the same angles as that commercial ladder. So this is like about a five degree angle here. If you look here, you can see I routed out that, so a little strength. And then on the lower rungs, which are wider, I put a piece of wood here to add strength, and I glued and screwed everything together. Uh, the other feature is I had to put this bracing on the outside so it would clear because when I fold it, this nests in here. Also this screw, I had to router out that. And then what I did with these bolts is I, I made them so they would move by putting a one, one nut there and then a counter nut there really tight. So I did that there and up here. So this is able to move freely, but it's still tight and this nut won't come off because these nuts are very tightly screwed against each other. I also cut up old bike tire so I have rubber grips here. So this is a tire and this is actually just a tube on that one. And then the other safety feature is I put this uh, 3M non-slip stick-on material and that's it. So it's very sturdy. The, these uh, steps are this is actually my second version. My original ladder, I had steps every foot and a half, which was no problem for me, but some of the people in my family wanted steps that were smaller, so these are 11 and a half inches apart. And then I made the top really strong, so you can step on this top step and get in the attic. That's it. I'll show you how it works next. All right. Okay, this is where I store the ladder, right behind a door. Pull it out. So much better than going to the garage every time and moving the cars out of the way. Snap these into place. Turn on the attic light. And then all the way up to my top step. And I am here. Success.